Internet, hello and welcome to the latest entry of my series of albums that have changed my life. My name is Amir and on this video we are talking about legitimately an album that when I first heard it in 2004, um, well not literally because my jaw cannot literally drop to the floor, but uh, metaphorically, figuratively if you will, um, I was floored by this record, which I didn't think was possible because the prior record that this band made was equally as flawless. Um, in fact, many people that like this band feel like there is a trilogy of records that they put out right after one another, one, two, and three, that are all nearly perfect, if not perfect. But for me, of those three records, this record really, really tugs at my heartstrings and really takes me to another place when I listen to it. I am in love with this record, and that record is Futures by Jimmy Eat World. Jimmy Eat World came out with this monster of a record in 2004. It was on the heels of re-electing George W. Bush. And so the first line of the record is literally, I always could count on Futures. I hope for better in November when the elections took place. Now, I'm not sure if this is a political album or not, or a political song or not, but the timing was absolutely perfect. Speaking of which, Futures is not only my favorite song on this record, which happens to start off the record, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. I love that song so freaking much, so freaking much. Like, the chorus to Futures is next level. And that riff, oh my God, that guitar riff. I mean, uh, amazing stuff. And it just starts, like you just put the CD in, you press play, and the first thing you hear is Oh my goodness, Futures is an amazing song. And then we get to the bridge. Oh my God, we get to the bridge and it gets all quiet and there's a little glockenspiel stuff going on in the background with the guitar playing in one note and then the glockenspiel playing right after it or the glockenspiel playing first and the guitar playing right after it, and they're kind of echoing back and forth between one another. Little things like that I love about this record. And then it builds and it builds and it builds and then the song kicks right back in and then we go into the chorus and then that beautiful riff again. I love Futures. I could go on, I can make an entire video about Futures. Just tonight. Yeah, just badassery, right? I love that this record starts off with like this one-two punch of Futures and Just Tonight because it's like Futures with this amazing open and then Just Tonight was just relentless stuff. And then Just Tonight ends and then it transitions into the guitar going I mean, God damn it. Work is such a beautiful song. All I can say, this is not a karaoke video. I apologize, I apologize. But this record makes me freaking sing, dude. This record puts a smile on my face because you have the beauty of a song like Work. Dude, I get so nostalgic talking about this record. This record means so much to me. And then from work, we go into kill. First off, you got the drums playing in a odd version of 4-4 four, four, where it's going bum, dum, ba, dum, bum. Then little things like that, again, make this record pop, in my opinion. And then towards the end, when they're doing the final chorus, and he says, I can't help it, baby, this is who I am. I'm sorry, I just can't go turn off how I feel. But when he says sorry, there's a second sorry in the background. He goes, I'm sorry, sorry, but I just can't go. Little like ear candy things that they threw into this record that just makes it so, so memorable something that I want to listen to again and again and again and I want to go back to. And then there's songs like The World You Love and Nothing Wrong. I feel like from a songwriting perspective, they hit their stride on this record. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they just got so motivated by the success of Bleed American that they're like, we have to do like something even more crazy. Or just, it was just like, or something was in the water or it just, it just came. It was natural. And granted, let me figure, like, this band had a lot of pressure on them. The Middle was a huge song. Sweetness was a huge song. Bleed American was a big song, right? And for them to follow up on the success of that record and not fuck it up is a huge achievement. Huge, huge achievement because not only, in my opinion, that they matched the quality of Bleed American, but they surpassed it with this record because you have songs like Drugs or Me. 
Now, granted, you had, you know, Hear You Me on Bleed American, very similar sounding songs, but Drugs Are Me. For the love of God, that song is beautiful. I mean, from a from a production standpoint alone, it's 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 a work of art. But it is such a beautiful sounding song. And then, of course, the album closer twenty three. I've seen Jimmy Eat World a few times, but they announced a tour where they were going to play Futures in its entirety from front to back. I think for like a ten year anniversary. I think this was twenty fourteen. And so I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, and for whatever reason, and I don't know if like Jimmy just isn't as popular as they used to be and that's the reason why but they played at this random venue in oakland called the metro now i say random because this venue for a band like jimmy world is on the smaller side so i got tickets and i i went to this show and trust me i loved every fucking second of this show as excited as i was to hear futures live and as excited as i was to hear the rest of the songs live in the back of my head in my heart in the pit of my stomach I was waiting for 23. What are you hoping for? I mean, come on, this freaking song, right? And then of course, the lead single that this record started out with, Pain. It takes my pain away. And something, again, I keep talking about little ear candy in, the, in this song, but again, we go to the the, the the portion right before the second verse and then I have the hand claps, so pop, 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 pop. Little tiny things that, again, when you listen to the songs, again, you like pick up on them and you're like, oh, they didn't do that the first time. They're doing it the second time. Oh, the, from a arrangement standpoint, like he says, you know, I'm sorry, sorry on this last chorus, but not the second or the first time that they do the chorus. Futures is an album that made me question myself as a songwriter, question myself as a musician as to, am I good enough? Because this record is written flawlessly. There's nothing wrong with this record. Nothing at all from a production standpoint, arrangement. From a performance standpoint, Jim vocally sounds amazing on this record. He sounds super confident on this record. Like he knows exactly the message that he's trying to portray. He knows exactly what he's, the, the, the feelings that he's trying to convey to the listening audience. This record showed me tested me if anything that i need to up my chops a little bit as a songwriter because these songs 15 years after the fact and i can't believe it's been 15 years since futures came out but 15 years after the fact these songs are still some of the best written songs i have ever heard not just from jimmy Eat world but in general it is a shame that this record didn't get as much love as bleed american did from a commercial standpoint from a radio standpoint i think from a general audience standpoint but man does this record hold up futures front to back is flawless and if you haven't heard it or if you're not familiar with some of these tracks i highly highly suggest you go check them out that was my review of jimmy world's futures a flawless 10 out of 10 record in my opinion and one of the albums that has changed my life do you like this record? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And what are some of your favorite Jimmy Eat World records? I might do a Jimmy Eat World um, discography review from worst to best. They are legitimately one of my favorite bands. I love this band to death. And if you like this video, please uh, do me a favor and like it. And if you haven't already, do me a huge favor and subscribe. I'm making a conscious effort to make sure that I deliver good quality content <laughs> to the people watching. I appreciate uh, all of you who watch this stuff and leave comments below. I do my best to respond to everything. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon.